please, I cannot tell you how long I have spent trying to set this camera back up again. I'm really pleased that you guys love the new setup with the lighting and the camera. Although there's a slight problem because I've been relying on natural lighting and today it has decided to be overcast and look like it's about to rain outside. So I hope the lighting's okay. If it's a little bit iffy, then I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm doing my main favourite, so let's crack on with it. I'm gonna start with fashion items because I've only got one, so it's technically item. But it is these sandals from Topshop. I just love them. I'm trying not to touch them too much because I have worn them almost every day and they are so grubby now and I've just noticed that there's gum on the bottom of the shoe and it has a cigarette butt in it. Mmm, delicious! <laughs> but I'm one of these people that just cannot walk in flip-flops. I find it really unnatural and I find myself scrunching my toes because I feel like the flip-flop's gonna fall off and then I usually end up tripping up over thin air or the pavement or my own feet. So I'm not a flip-flop wearer and I don't really like having all my feet exposed even though I have fairly okay toes, my toes aren't all like this. Yeah, I don't really like having my toes on display and my feet get really hot and swollen really easily. So I don't really like having all my feet exposed. So I like these because they cover the backs of your feet and your toe area. I love the Mary Jane style tea bar. They come down really low on the ankles so they're really flattering and they look great with either jeans, dresses, skirts, jumpsuits, dungarees, I've been wearing them with everything, I just really, really love them. They have them on the Topshop website so I'll link them for you. I'm pretty sure they also have these in a couple of pastel colours as well. Can't quite remember but they definitely have these and I'm so tempted to buy another pair of these in the exact colour just because I love them that much that I know I'm probably going to wear them summer after summer after summer and I'm really scared that they're going to break and I'm not going to be able to find another pair just like these so I may buy myself another pair. I usually don't mention many beauty items in my favourites videos. I usually mention maybe one or two, but I actually have quite a few here. First thing is this NARS matte lip pencil thing. Okay, let me get that right. This is a NARS velvet matte lip pencil in the colour Damned. I cannot tell you how long I have been looking for a matte lipstick in this colour and the thing I like about all lip pencils is that I think they're really easy to apply. This glides on so well. I don't know why I didn't wear it for this video but it's such a lovely colour. The only thing I would say about it, you have to keep building it up for it to be opaque otherwise it rubs off fairly easily. I love it nonetheless and I've wanted something from NARS for ages and I'm really happy I got this. I'm pretty sure I got it on John Lewis, I think. I'll link everything in the down bar. Anyway, and then the next thing is a hair product and it is this bed head after party smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. I quite like the packaging apart from this weird bubble thing at the top. I'm not too sure what that's about. I've been using this when I've just washed and curled my hair and I've just got some flyaways that I just want to smooth down. But the main reason I love it is that when I'm due a hair wash, and I only wash my hair once a week, I know that sounds gross to a lot of you, but I have quite a lot of hair and it doesn't get greasy easily. So three or four days after I've washed my hair, it won't be greasy, but I find the ends get quite dry, especially when it's cold and windy. My hair just gets completely frazzled and the ends will be all like flaily. I don't Flaily, is that a word? I just put a pea sized amount of this on my hands, rub it in like that, and then just work it into my hair like that. And then any residue that I have, I just smooth through the top of my hair. And also around here, where I get a lot of um, sort of frizzy bits of hair, it honestly doesn't make it greasy at all. It just makes it look and feel amazing. Oh, I love it. Oh, hang on, hang on. I got a parcel! And yes, I'm filming in my pyjama bottoms. And what? And what? <laughs> oh, crap. Crap. Alright, everything's going tits up now. Well, it's not often I watch an advert on TV and think, yeah, I'm going to buy your product. But I saw the advert for this and for some reason I thought I want to try it. This Nivea Firming Body Lotion and apparently you're meant to have firmer skin in two weeks. I didn't really think it would make much of a difference to my skin to be honest but I was in boots and I saw it and it was half price and I have to say I have never used a body lotion that has made my skin feel so amazing. I pop this on after I get out of the bath or the shower and during the day I'll just find myself rubbing my arms thinking oh don't they feel soft? It makes my skin just look really healthy and glowy. It works a treat, it's amazing. Love it! <laughs> and 
And then the last lotion, and I never ever thought I'd be mentioning a tannin moisturiser or a gradual tannin moisturiser, whatever they're called. This is the Garnier Summer Body Sunkissed Look, so this is specifically for people with very very pale skin like myself. This has apricot a apricot a uh, mm, apricot a etch mmm <laughs> apricot a oh my word. This has apricot extract in so it doesn't have that weird biscuit smell that most tanners or gradual tanners have. It smells really nice. What's annoying me is that it reminds me of something that I used to use years ago. I'm pretty sure it's a moisturiser. It probably was from Garnier. I can't remember what it is but the smell is really, it sort of takes me back. I love it. The last gradual tanner that I bought was when they first became a thing and I was about 13 and I bought the Johnson's one. I was streaky, I was orange, it clinged to all my dry patches. It was just a disaster and I remember having to get changed into my shorts for PE. I looked like I had been tangoed. And so I never used gradual tanners again. You know, I'm happy with having fair pale skin. But I thought 10 years on, they've probably gotten better like the formulas have probably gotten a lot better since i was 13 and i'm so pleasantly surprised with this it doesn't as you can see it doesn't make me look orange just been making my skin look slightly healthier i don't know how to describe it i guess warmer it's not been looking tanned it's just been looking warmer i feel like this makes me look a little bit more toned as well this lotion makes my skin feel really good as well oh my goodness not only is the weather not on my side today, my camera cut out, I didn't realise there was no battery and it stopped recording half of the video that I just filmed, yay. <laughs> so on to, I guess, some lifestyle bits, I guess you'd call it. And uh, the first one is something that I have wanted since the day I laid eyes on one, maybe about 13 years ago. I was about, I was about 10 or 11 and then I asked my mum for one and she says, uh, Rhiannon, do you not realise how expensive those are? I didn't realise that it wasn't the same price as my Barbie stereo. Yeah, I was actually probably younger than 11 then, because I definitely was not listening to my Barbie cassette player when I was 11. I was probably about 6 or 7. So yeah, I've wanted, a, I've wanted a Roberts radio for ages and I've put one on my Christmas wish list this year in just the hopes that maybe my mum and stepdad may buy me the Bobbitts radio. They flipping well did. This birthday Christmas, um, and I'm only mentioning it now because I actually couldn't see my mum over Christmas birthday period. My birthday is on the 21st of December, which is why I say birthday Christmas. So I only recently got my presents. I've got some really good presents that are gonna last me for years and years to come, including this Roberts radio. This is the digital one, so I can beam my Spotify from my phone, I can be in the other room, and I can go on Spotify on my phone and beam it straight to this in the living room. And I just put it on my um, fireplace, and it just sits like that, and I just love it. Ooh, I love it, I just poke myself in the face. Oh, flipping out. I have basically been trying to go coffee free, got to the point where I was coming reliant on it. When I say I was addicted to coffee, I mean Lorelei Gilmore addicted to coffee. Three coffees. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry, I only ordered one. You said coffee, coffee, coffee. Haha, <laughs> no, see, I said coffee, coffee, coffee. Right. As in, I really need coffee, coffee, coffee. No. Coffee, coffee, coffee is a saying, like an exaggeration. It's a funny desperate cry for caffeine. It's just my thing, because everybody knows I drink a lot of coffee, so the day can't start until I've had my jolt. It's a bit, it's my bit. I've not had caffeinated coffee for 30 days. So impressed with myself. And now my energy and my moods are just kind of, just nice and stable. It feels good. I feel good. <laughs> I did a little research online and I found a few websites that um, sell Nespresso compatible pods. So I found this brand called Crew Cafe. I got myself some Nespresso compatible decaf coffee capsules. Now decaf still has a little bit of caffeine in but not loads. But yeah they're organic and really nice. I spoke to customer service a few times and they were really quick to reply to my emails and super friendly. Big thumbs up. And the last thing I wanted to mention is an app. And now usually when I get emails about apps I'm just a bit like mm, no not really interested but I really quite like this app it's called Grabble and it's basically a fashion app that you can find clothing on and you can buy it directly from the app the app has lots of different collections of clothing so for example we have prints we have dresses um, summer whites shorts 
statement shoes and you can just click on one of those collections you go through it and all you have to do is swipe left if you're not interested in that item or if you are interested in that item you can swipe right and you will grab it and it will appear in your grabs which you can then go through later on and then if you decide that you want to buy one of the items you just click on it and click buy now and it will take you straight to the website and you can buy your item, simple as that. I think it's a really nifty app. There are quite a lot of apps nowadays that are very similar. I think this is slightly different to a lot of the fashion apps. It's made simple and easy, but fun, and I have to admit I spent about 14 minutes playing on this whilst Doug and I were watching Bear Grylls, and he was like, Rhiannon, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just, just looking at clothes. It's a cool app, and I promise you I'm not just saying that. If you want to check it out, it's free. You can download it on iPhone and Android. But that's it for my May favourites. I know it's been all over the place today. Weather's not been on my side. My camera's not been on my side. I just... Oh, I will see you in my next video. Mwah.